Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. My name is Brent McGrath and I'm the host of Talks and Discussions, What Matters and What Doesn't Matter. Our guest today is from Mexico City and she's the founder of Speech Talk, or Speak Taco, sorry about that. Her name is Defilia Acete. Good morning or good afternoon or good evening, Desfilia. How are you today? Hi, good evening. Very well, thank you. How are you? I'm alive and, and well in, in Guadalajara, Mexico. Let me give you a little background about Defilia so you can have an idea of what we're going to speak about today. She's from Venezuela and her parents are from Bolivia and she's now living in Mexico City. She's married to a Mexican, so she's she doesn't know what's next, but she loves the mix of what they're doing at the moment. I believe that your husband's in Canada, correct? Yes. What's he doing in Canada? He's working there in Quebec. And are your plans to go to Canada in the future? Yes, that's the idea. Okay. Uh, Defilia is a production engineer from Venezuela, and she got her master's degree in Mexico City. In the meantime, she got certified as a Spanish teacher uh, for a second language. During her studies, she's been traveling to different countries, and because her family lives in many countries, she's, went, she's gone to Canada, Bolivia, Panama, the United States, Spain, etc. Uh, she was traveling, meeting people during business, enjoying food from different countries, and this is how her passion started. She started finding more and more people interested in learning Spanish. Uh, okay, and then I can understand because I'm a, I'm a Canadian living in Mexico and Spanish, I mean, you need to have Spanish to communicate down here, but why Spanish? Yes, well, there are many reasons to learn Spanish, but actually I would like to say only four. So first, it's one of the most commonly spoken languages. It is spoken in more than 20 countries and more than 500 millions of people. Okay. So can you imagine how can you, how can you expand your boundaries if you are fluent in this language? Second, the language has a bright future. The number of speakers is increasing every year. And the British Council uh, ranked Spanish as the most important second languages for the British citizen to learn. And moreover, uh, we can see that analysts are estimating that the Latino population is always increasing. And probably in 2060, it will be close to 130 million by, by that year. And so in that case, it's predicted that this will make the U.S. the largest Spanish-speaking country in the world, overtaking Mexico in the process, of course. Yes, and number three, well, learning Spanish will help you, will help your career or your business, because if you can communicate with more than 20 countries, so imagine how your business can grow with this language. And finally, I will say that Spanish is easy to learn. For example, in English, there is a different pronunciation for all the vowels. So the vowel A could be apple, could be airplane, and sometimes there is no rule to understand this. That's true. But on the other hand, writing Spanish is almost completely phonetic. So you can see any Spanish word mm -hmm. and you can tell how it's pronounced. For example, the sound of the vowel A, A, E, O, U. It's always the same. It doesn't change. So if you know the vowels, you can pronounce almost everything in Spanish. That's very important. That's very true. Yeah, I, I'm taking Spanish classes myself and I understand I can pronounce a lot of words that I couldn't if I was not a native speaker of English because of the, of the sounds. Okay. Exactly. So what, so what are you doing right now? Yes, well, uh, I'm passionate about teaching Spanish and that's why I'm running my own business. Speak Taco is an academy to teach Spanish online to children and adults. Mm -hmm. And when you think in Spanish, you think in Mexico. And Mexico means tacos. That's why this is the perfect name for the academy. Okay. Okay. So why? what is the value proposition of Speech Taco? Well, I understand that the best way to learn a language is through total immersion. But unfortunately... 
it's not always possible to live in a Spanish-speaking country. Mm -hmm. But with the spectacle, you can learn Spanish using your knowledge and your five senses. Our methodology reinforces learning with your daily activities, including watching television, listening to music, uh, enjoying games and other activities. So the idea is to be always in contact with the language, even if you're not living in a Spanish speaking country. And that's, that's why uh, now we're a team and we will help you to achieve your goals that involve speaking Spanish. We know how important it is for you to communicate with native Spanish speaker. And that's why our secret salsa has three ingredients. So first is to study with certified teachers who are also native speakers. Mm -hmm. Second, to practice on your daily activities using your five senses, for example, watching TV, movies, music, everything that you do every day. And third, apply your knowledge with the spectacle community. Interesting. I like your, your recipe for salsa, or sorry, for salsa, uh, sal yeah, salsa, that's right. Okay, so what is Speak Taco community? What is that? Well, this is a community that we have created. It's not only about taking online lesson and the it, but also to be part of the Speak Taco community that we're having events every Saturday so people can participate and interact with other students. Uh, they can practice their language skills mm -hmm. and also learn about Latin American culture. It's not only about Mexico, it's also about Argentina, Colombia. We have t-shirts from different countries and that's the idea that they can see the difference between the language because of course this is Spanish but we have difference in each country. And also we offer important information in social media, Facebook, Instagram, Mm -hmm. where people can find common mistakes, tricky words, grammar tips, and more that are very useful when you are studying a language. The purpose is to offer you useful information to learn Spanish so the student can, contact, can be in contact with the language every day and interact with other students, even if they are not living in a Spanish-speaking country. Okay. So do you have to be a client of yours to be part of the Speak Taco community? Uh, for the moment, no, it's open for everyone, but in the next month, it will be only for the students. Can I add a link to, to your Speech Taco community at the, at the end of this video so people can, can uh, link, uh, go in and check it out? Yes, of course. Actually, every Saturday at 12 mm -hmm. Mexico City time, we're having a free event. So, for example, in September, we started with an explanation about Mexican Independence Day. Mm -hmm. that sometimes people think is Cinco de Mayo, yes. but it's, it was in September. And mm -hmm. last Saturday we had, um, oh, we played Loteria. That is a very funny game mm -hmm. and very interesting to learn vocabulary. And then um, we will have uh, another Latin American game that is Basta, that is mm -hmm. something to play with uh, vocabulary, using names, city, countries, and it's very funny. Mm -hmm. So every Saturday at 12, we are having these free events so okay. people can see how to practice. How, it's not only about studying a language just to know the grammar, but mm -hmm. also we have this community to share, to interact with other students. Yep. So you can see, uh, for example, different accents, because are there are a professor from Argentina, another teacher is from Colombia, Mexico. Okay. And that's the idea that they can learn about the language and also the culture. Okay. Is Speak Taco also, also for children? Yes, of course. Yes, actually children learn more rapidly than adults. And there is no better time for kids to learn Spanish than today they will have a huge competitive advantage if they can speak Spanish. Not only because they will be able to speak uh, one of the most spoken languages, mm -hmm. but also for three reasons. First, they will be able to connect with people from more than 20 countries. Okay. There are many advantages for that. Uh, second, they will experience Hispanic culture. 
Um, third, they will be successful in this multicultural environment. So nowadays, it's not only about speaking their language, but uh, I can see so many kids that they're learning their third or another language. So they have like th three or four languages. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sure. And it's amazing. Uh, I have worked with kids and it's great to see how amazing life these kids have when they're learning Spanish with digital books, games, music, uh, funny activities that they really enjoy. And that's why we have teachers specialized in teaching children and who enjoy working with them. Sounds like very, very interesting. Okay, let's, let's try this question. Ya como ha respondido la, la gente ante la enseña en línea? Oh, la gente ante la enseñanza en línea. Excelente. Sí, ya no vivimos en el pasado donde aprender un idioma era algo necesario, estar en un salón de clases, con una pizarra, un pupitre, ya no. Ahora podemos hacerlo en línea, como esta videoconferencia, con muchísimas ventajas. Porque estudias a tu ritmo, estudias en el lugar que deseas, estudias cuando lo deseas y con un programa especial diseñado para ti. Este es el secreto en el aprendizaje de un idioma. Es el secreto del éxito. Un ejemplo muy claro. Cuando yo inicié a estudiar francés, iba a una escuela regular y éramos un grupo de cinco personas. Existía el riesgo de poder llegar tarde a una clase, algunas veces de no ir a la clase por el trabajo, otras actividades. Uh -huh. Y cada estudiante tiene una velocidad distinta de aprendizaje para ciertos temas. Esto atrasaba mucho el aprendizaje porque éramos cinco y era un grupo bastante pequeño. Además, cada vez que terminábamos un nivel, existía el riesgo de no poder continuar, porque la escuela nos decía, tienen que ser mínimo cinco para poder abrir el siguiente nivel. O en este nivel no tenemos profesor y era, era bastante difícil. En este momento yo estudiaba de manera intensiva, de lunes a viernes, uh -huh. y logré alcanzar en dos años un nivel competente en, en francés. Pero por otro lado, uh -huh. les comento sobre un estudiante de espectáculo. Él inició hace un año sin cero conocimiento, nada de conocimiento en el idioma. Sí. Y empezó con una hora a la semana. Uh -huh. Una okay. persona bastante ocupada, con su propia empresa, su trabajo. Empezó una hora a la semana. Utilizando la metodología, a los cuatro meses ya tenía un nivel básico, lograba comunicarse y entender. Uh -huh. Incrementó a dos horas. Poco a poco se fue convenciendo uh -huh. hasta llegar ahora a la cuarentena donde estudiaba una hora por día. De lunes a viernes, una hora bastante intensivo. Y ahora cuenta con un nivel avanzado, uh -huh. puede comunicarse de una manera muy fluida y hasta logró hacer negocios en México. Entonces, su empresa, que está en Estados Unidos, uh -huh. ahora está abriendo negocios en Monterrey uh -huh. y puede comunicarse de manera muy fluida. Esto es lo que se logra con una metodología de inmersión. La idea es traer el idioma a tus actividades diarias, utilizando tus sentidos, utilizando tus, todo lo que haces durante el día. Okay. ¿Y su estudiante es, es de México o otro país también? No, el estudiante es de Estados Unidos. So, ¿Solo Estados Unidos? Ah, ok, sí. Hay estudiantes de todos los países. Ok. Este caso en particular fue de Estados Unidos, pero hemos trabajado con estudiantes de Canadá, Estados Unidos, Australia, India, Israel, muchísimo. Uh, ok, sí, sí. Reino Unido y algunos lugares en Europa. Ok. So, one more question. What are your hours of operation? Are you open? Wow, 20, are you open 24/7, <laughs> or do you have a certain uh, certain hours that you that you uh, that you work for? Or work well, with? actually, that's a good question because uh, we're thinking, yes, we're in this part of America, and probably we're having different times. Yes, of course. But in this case, we have a solution. Uh, the website uh, is for 24 hours, and there's always someone answering question. Mm -hmm. And also, um, we have uh, one of the teacher is in China, 
So he's working during the night. That would be mm -hmm. the night for us. Right. So we, we have almost 24 hours available. So the idea is that every student has uh, one teacher, but sometimes when they are in an advanced level, mm -hmm. um, that's, that's very useful when they have different lessons with different professors. So the idea is that they can see, they can see, um, you know, when you're always talking with someone, mm -hmm. uh, sometimes you get used to this person. Right. Uh -huh. So that's not the idea. So they have to, to, to understand someone from Argentina that they speak so quickly and maybe someone from Spain that is a different accent and different conjugation because they use vosotros. Right. Um, yeah, that's the idea that, for example, for this student, uh, he has been working with almost all the teachers. Yes, with all okay. of them. So then you, as you learn Spanish, because Spanish is different in each country, a little bit different. So then you get a more a rounded Spanish. So when you go out traveling, you can communicate with just about anybody who speaks Spanish, correct? Yes, exactly. And for example, if you, if you, have, um, if you have a trip, uh, if you're going to travel to Colombia, let's say, in this case, we prepare a program specific to your needs. So it will be something about Colombia and how the economy, um, the tourists um, and how to negotiate and how to buy and how to find different prices. Mm -hmm. And yes, there are very specific cases. That's, that's the difference. When you go to a regular school, you have a program and this is the program for everyone. I was right. studying French and it was the same book for everyone. Mm -hmm. But here, if, for example, we have a, a student who she's married with a, a man from Argentina. Mm -hmm. So she's very interesting to learn uh, this accent from Argentina that is difficult. They, they use boss. Uh -huh. okay. So in that case, if she's going to take a lesson in a regular school, she will be studying probably vosotros and something that is not useful for her. Right. Mm -hmm. So that it's nice to see, uh, uh, it's nice to see a business out there that focuses on the need of the person or the client, as opposed to just uh, like one size fits all. Cause that's, that's what we've seen in, in Mexico. I'm pretty sure most schools are like that one size fits all. And, and it's not that great of a learning experience for most people, I don't think, but, okay. Well, thank you very much for coming on the show today. I really appreciate you being here. And I, I think, I'm really sure that your information is very important uh, for most people in, like you say, in Canada, the United States and a lot of different countries who want to learn different, part, different kinds of Spanish because now we know there's more than just Mexico Spanish, there's Colombian Spanish and uh, Argentinian Spanish and a whole bunch of different kinds of Spanish to learn. So I, I'm really glad that we had this time to talk with you today. Yes, thank you for the invitation. It was a pleasure to be here sharing with you. And yes, uh, you can check the information in the website that is www.speaktaka.com. Also in social media, at Facebook and Instagram. Okay, thank you very much. Have a great day. You too, thank you, bye. Bye-bye.